on his way to greatness. That's what Sugar Shane Mosley said against about Miguel Cotto after their recent fight. fight. Both know the rules and thoroughly got old. I want you to remember two things. I want you to obey my commands. Most importantly, defend yourselves at all times. Now shake hands and come out of the bell. Worst case scenario here for Alfonso Gomez is this turns out like that other reality TV star Peter Manfredo when he fought Joe Calzaghi and got blown away in three rounds. Maybe Gomez will prove better than that, but he has lost to Manfredo and beaten him in his career so far. Yep, and he has talked to talk leading up to this fight, so I don't think he can start trying to make this easy on himself. I think he's going to have to give it a go, and I expect he's going to do that. Never mind reality TV. This is a different kind of reality. Can he cope with Miguel Cotto, one of the top operators in world boxing? Cotto in the black trunks. And Cotto is left-handed but boxes orthodox, so every punch has full power behind it already. Gomez's face reddening with the jabs and hooks from Cotto. Rams out those punches. Cotto, usually he's quite patient, takes his time, wears you down. He's got good hand speed. What was especially impressive last time against Mosley, who's a real stylist, it was, it was, he was able to get the better of him in that department too in that fight. So he's really probably at about his peak now, Cotto. That is the big problem for Gomez. Everything he's good at, uh, Cotto, is that little bit better can box, he got front foot, back foot, more power, more experience, wealth of experience actually, and already that left hand is thumping home, and Gomez as I thought he would maybe do, he's aggressive, probably thinking if I'm going out, I'm going out on my shield, and he's going to give the fans a show. And Alfonso Gomez took out Arturo. Gatti, nine months ago, sent him into retirement, floored him, stopped him in the seventh, but Gatti was always pretty easy to hit, and he was very, very long in the tooth by that stage of his career. There's a bit of smearing already around the face of Gomez, just a bit of reddening from this consistent jab that Cotto is ramming out. I think Gomez is shocked at the speed of Cotto's punching and the power. He's coming forward giving it a go as we expected him to do but showing absolutely nothing so far in the opening round that he can make a dent in this man very confident all week Gomez saying all the right things but this is where it matters of course another body shot chopping right hand he's got really good variety Cotto he doesn't waste many either does he I have to say, I'm surprised myself how easily Gomez has been caught. Turned to Southpaw for a short spell there, Cotto. In this first round so far, you'd have to say he's played with Gomez a bit. Gomez can't do a thing with him. He's walking forward but not getting any shots off at all. He did get in with the left hand there. He just buckled his knees with that one, Cotto. There was encouragement for Miguel Cotto right on the bell. Flaming dingoes! <laughs> Red Bull gives you wings. Welcome back to Atlantic City on the New Jersey shore, a couple of hours south of New York. Miguel Cotto had everything his own way in that first round. Yep, yeah, I mean, signs that this could develop into an exhibition. I mean, there was a, there was a case for scoring that 10-8 because he hardly missed with a punch, didn't take anything in return. Is the second round Cotto in the black trunks here? It's amazing to think that he once 
made lightweight. He was always way too big for that. Because he's back in the same ring where he had that real thriller with Ricardo Torres when it looked like he was on his way to his first defeat but came back to win it. It was a sensational fight that helped to establish Torres's name too. I mean, he has looked vulnerable a couple of times throughout his career, Cotto. But uh, looking at Gomez's record, he doesn't have the power to trouble him. But give him full credit, Ian. He's standing his ground and he's giving a show. Cotto's jab has been especially impressive tonight. Let's get him with the right hand there, Gomez. But at the moment, he's being introduced into the big league. I mean, these are thumping punches coming from Cotto. As I said, left-handed, so every leading punch has that power behind it. Fantastic hand speed from Cotto as well. It's funny how you don't hear Floyd Mayweather trying to call Cotto out, do you? And maybe he doesn't fancy that one quite as much. He's gone southpaw again here, look. I think maybe he wants to wind up the big finishing left hand. He is left handed, as we've said a couple of times already, so he turns to southpaw now and again, maybe to deliver a left cross. But at times he's treating Gomez with disdain, just doing as he pleases. The fact that he feels relaxed enough to switch to southpaw and then try something out in the middle of the fight almost says that he feels in total control to me. I mean, Gomez's punches are actually looking amateurish in comparison to the thumping shots coming from Cotto. Does have lots of heart, he'll need it here, you feel. And for Alfonso Gomez. There we go, goes on the floor there. Takes a count for that one. I think he was stumbling when the punch landed, but it was a bona fide knockdown. Is the end in sight? I wonder. Look at that jab. Right hand was a good one from Gomez. No impression on Cotto, who's unbeaten in 31 fights so far. And you'd have to say, so far, he's toyed with Gomez in this. And there's another shot that he's back with his knees again he nearly went again there and Cotto in absolutely no hurry to follow up he knows he can finish this when he makes his mind up May a month of finals month and only one place to see them all sky sports when you just see the thumping punches beautiful body shot to, from Cotto everything coming from that line, left hand complete power stumble the, the punch glanced off the top of his head as he stumbled over beautiful body shot Here's round three. Gomez just can't get competitive with Cotto. This was the fear, really, when you looked at this as a contest, that he wouldn't be good enough. He has lost three times already in his career to Aisha Smith, Jesse Feliciano and Peter Manfredo. Which didn't read like the record of a man who could give somebody like Miguel Cotto trouble. I mean, Cotto's landed so many thumping single punches, but not following them up. I don't know if he's thinking, give the fans a show for a few rounds. He's certainly not in any hurry to get Gomez out of there. Switching from Southpaw back to Orthodox again. As you said, maybe trying to line up the finishing left hand. I think if he felt that Gomez presented any danger whatsoever, it would be moving in here, move up through the gears and get this over with just toying with him at times here not wasted a shot defence tight too 
Cotto. 